Hello guys, it's me Political Fair and welcome to another Slash Gaming video and today I'm going to show you how to kill the Catholic King with a decent 5 or 6 man team. This is actually a very good method to do it, it's not the best but by far the best method I have found for killing Catholic King uh, now for uh, a good amount of time with uh, my friends on Skype. But I recommend you using this if you're a starter and uh, want to get some decent kills. Uh, we found some problems with it, of course, with everything you will find problems, but this is, like I said, by far the best method we have found by killing it for a good amount of time. Also, I recommend uh, you getting a arcane spirit shield right now. This is uh, by far the best item to have right now. Uh, with uh, the Master Wand or the Virtus Wand, of course, because you will need some tanking in uh, in the picture. So let's get on with the gear. The gear I'm going to use is a very basic uh, mage setup gear with the shield and the wand. I'm using Anodemic, it's really good for uh, this setup. Uh, you could use uh, um, void, but uh, we are actually not going to be switching between styles, and it's not really worth it in my opinion and in our opinion anyway. So we decided to go full out mage. Um, also, if you don't have the penance or the vampirism, I recommend using the poison purge. This will uh, help you if you are going to get poison. You actually can get poison, it's not too much, it's uh, like 50 damage, but it's some additional health and it helps if you don't have any other uh, auras, of course. So, uh, now I have shown you the gear, I will show you the inventory. The inventory is really basic, to be honest. It's just some overload, uh, prayer renewal, prayer flask, I really recommend having more flasks or potions uh, for prayer because I found that you ran out of prayer much faster than you do with uh, food. So some more uh, potions or uh, flask for prayer is uh, really recommended. And I put in this right now. I haven't been testing it out with uh, adrenaline flask but I could imagine that uh, it will help you a lot during this because you will eventually get up to ultimate as fast as possible. So dreadnips is a must. Uh, you actually you don't have to have dreadnips, but it's really good. Um, rock tails, home teleportation, and some basic runes. You will need to use fire surge. Fire surge is a must. And Steel Titan, of course. Steel Titan is also really recommended. I really, really, really recommend having a fighting uh, summoning monster because, uh, and uh, Steel Titan, of course, because this will help you a lot during the process where he is healing. So now I'm going to get on with uh, the fighting and how to use my abilities. So. Here you can see my abilities. I got some basic abilities at the start, uh, like everyone does. So what you're going to need to do is activate your prayer. The prayer is very basic with uh, the torment, the soul split, and protection item item on. And you are going to be starting with hitting him with some basic abilities, and of course the steel titan, and of course dreadnips. And when you get up to around ultimate, I recommend starting off with uh, this ultimate, uh, I can't pronounce it, but yeah, you start up with this so you could uh, get double damage all the time for 20 seconds, this will really help you. So the first phase you will find and the first problem you will find is that uh, one of your teammates will be getting a green color over over him or her and uh, what you're going to need to do then is by uh, clicking the provoke this is a basic ability so you can do it every time and this will mean that uh, Kafa King will target you while you're doing the provoke you will quickly switch over to resonance resonance will uh, give you all the damage output he is doing on uh, the other person or the last thing he will hit 
will get on you so you will actually heal up that amount he will be hitting the other person so uh, like I said the green or I didn't actually say it but the green color will one hit you so if you don't do it you will be, be screwed and if you don't uh, if you provoke and don't do resonance you will die Another additional thing to do with this is by doing provoke and then do barcade. Barcade will uh, just block all the damage output uh, you are receiving for 10 seconds. So that's pretty good too. And like I said, this needs to be done when a person is getting green. So I really recommend the uh, team has Skype because it's very hard to commun communicate while doing everything. And if you see one person getting green, you can just uh, scream out green and one person will target with provoke. So what my team did was uh, we were screaming out green every time one person got uh, green and uh, another person said provoke and he will then provoke and do resonance or barcade. Uh, another thing is that uh, if you have uh, some persons who are doing the other method where you're using um, uh, chaotic stuff uh, you gotta have at least two um, persons or you could have one but it's a bit harder uh, that had have shield because you need to do the provoking stuff so if you're only one there with the shield you will have to have one that is doing provoke when so the shield dude will uh, do provoke when uh, you get green. Uh, another thing that's real good is when the red uh, orbs are get coming out, you will probably be stunned, and then you are going to use freedom, of course, and run away. Uh, if you uh, <clears throat> if your freedom is um, not available, or you just want to stand there, you can do the anticipation and you will actually heal uh, the output that no I mean this is very wrong I mean you could do resonance again when the gre uh, when the orbs are coming and you could <clears throat> just heal the amount of damage they will receive on you and that's pretty good anticipation uh, sorry for that anticipation will uh, helps you if you know the orbs are coming you can just click anticipation uh, and run away uh, if you don't want to be healed I mean um, if you don't have freedom activated so anticipation will help you so you don't get stunned and freedom will help you so you can free from the stun so basically you will do anticipation right before uh, you think he will stun you with orbs uh, like I said, this is just uh, for attacking. It's very easy to be just uh, attacking and standing there and attack. When he pops up to the next phase, you will uh, find a problem where he is uh, healing. The healing process is actually very easy to find out. You will just see some healing effect over him, like, uh, like that. And uh, what you need to do then is just get all your teammates to stop. Um, attacking him so he don't receive any damage uh, and can heal from it what you're going to do then is stop healing and uh, get the steel titan to attack it and the dreadnip because um, the, uh, the damage output they are doing is not received a ceiling for the cow viking so that's pretty much about it um, you can also uh, heal from the orbs, the blue orbs, and everything else. He will also do a face where he's running, he's standing up and blinking red, and he will run right into you. What you're going to do then is just run uh, two squares uh, to any side, and you will uh, easily avoid that. So, uh, a good uh, thing for people that are Skyping and teaming up is uh, using the green command, using the red command uh, as he in healing when the Kafka King is healing, red, and using uh, run as a command for the running into the wall. 
uh, with you and you will receive damage. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the start of the kill where where we are killing with this method and you will see uh, it's very easy. Sorry for a lot of talking but yeah you will see a little bit of the killing. Uh, I don't think I will show you the whole kill because uh, it wasn't uh, really good at the end because uh, some of the teammates was failing but yeah. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time. Thank you.